afternoon YouTube and welcome back to the channel and today I am strolling along the uh, footpath from uh, the Sportsman pub at Sea Salter with special guest where is he there he is say hello Finn hi um, me and Finley are gonna just go and explore this one small area of rocks there's like a, a small I don't know it's probably about 20 meters by 20 meter area of, uh, of rock just just below the high tide mark um, and we're gonna see what we find what do you think we're gonna find Finn? find some of that so let's get there and we've got a bucket and we've got some nets I got well, two nets yeah. two nets let's see what we find Right, so we've just got down onto the beach here at Sea Salter and just behind us there is the swale. So that would lead up to Sittingbourne, Faversham Creek, Sittingbourne and out to she to um, Sheerness. And then this way, you're going along the coastline to Whitstable. And the beach here is uh, very shallow, at high tide, very, very shallow. You've got a lot of flat mud that goes out here at low. Um, quite a bit of life here. Um, you get good bass show up sometimes, stingrays, rays. But um, it's quite interesting to look at the top of the bank here. Look at it there. It is basically just a whole collection of shells. So it is probably nearly two foot deep all the way along shells upon shells upon shells look at that there we go look at that yeah buried in it a bit fishy line so we'll take that back we'll get rid of that should be leaving that here right come on right Finn what have you just done Oh no, you've cut yourself already running around. Now look at the beach. It's full of shells, isn't it, mate? Yeah. Full of shells. He's ducking down out of the way of the camera. You don't have to duck, Finn. Right, so basically we have just come through just around the corner there and you can see it's just really, really desolate, flat, muddy bottom for miles. You've got, as you come towards this end, you have got some um, sort of grassy patches, seagrass patches that are getting a little bit more dense as the years go on and they're a bit more frequent there's a bit more of them um, which is great for attracting in different species but basically what we've got here we've got these very very old groins probably 10 sections that are nearly rotted out and you can just see there in front of me there's a small section of rocks just out below the high tide line so we're going to have a little explore see what there is in there See what we find and get in the bucket because it is 
a nice little uh, habitat there um, a bit of shelter in an otherwise open expanse of sea what have you found oh oh what have we got got him get him pick him up you got him yeah this is the first find look at that there you go little tiny crab oh. right do you want to put him in the bucket then yeah the bucket got water in it now we'll get some water in it get that line out take that with us gone we'll get some water in there so we have found a little shore crab baby little shore crab let's get some water let's go and find some other things finn shall we So we've got this large bulb here where I put my stuff. It's not actually even with the rocks, but it's teeming with life. Very small. So this pool has got tiny, tiny fry in it. They're about 10 mil long. And if you can see them, um, just under the water there. Just under the water. Lots and lots of little fry all the way around this boulder, full of it's also full of winkles. Um, lots and lots of winkles, which um, are edible, uh, they're a bit snotty. But I always remember my dad. When I was little, we'd go and collect some winkles and boil them up. Um, I don't know why, I used to really like it. I think it was the case of uh, eating something that um, was from the sea. I think I'd pass on it now and find something a little bit more tempting. But this pool here is full of winkles. and they are coming out. So you're gonna... We've also got... Crangon, Crangon, brown shrimp. And if you can see it there underneath the water, got some brown shrimp. Baby brown shrimp. Oh yeah, I can see it. You can see it? Can you see the tiddly tiddly crab down there? Where? Why don't we get it? Where's it the is tiddly. Where? I can't see it. You can't see it. Where is it? Look at the tiddly, tiddly crab, right by my finger, look. Oh, there he is. is. Should we put him in? He is tiny. There's loads of them. Look, there's a tiny baby crab there. There's one, two, three. Can, can we put one in the bucket? They are tiny. There's a bigger crab there. Look at this one. Let me see if I can grab him. I found one crab and you found one. Right, find my, get my little net, Finn. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. I'll get it. Right, so mm. when you're doing this with a... Yeah, uh, small rock pools and small creatures. These little nets for uh, aquariums are great. So we've got a tiny, tiny little shore crab in there. There he is. Let's uh, get him out. Carefully. Oh, be careful, Finn. You're a YouTuber then. Oh, he's gone. There he is. There he is. Look at that. Put him in the bucket. You want to put him in the bucket? Come on then. Come on then. You can put him in the bucket. There you go. in. Yes, right, we got a crab. Oh, got one. Right. This is interesting. What? You get a fish? Yeah. Where's the fish? Oh, I can see him. I can see him spinning around everywhere. I can see him at the side. So, just scoop my little net. Very tiny. Now, I don't know if you can see, just over here we've got a very small fish fry looks like a blenny could be anything though and we've got the smallest the smallest of smallest brown shrimps there there he is running through he is about six mil long so let's see if we can find anything else
again to the rocks. Yeah. You've made your way through the mud, have you, Finn? Yeah. All right, come on then. And we've got some bird footprints here. Yeah, some wading birds. Not quite sure what they are. They could even just be seagulls, but some birds that have been down here wading through. Found some sea snails. Well, so they, they are, what, the ones all over the rocks? They're winkles. They are winkles. So you've got to watch out and look for some animals, see some creatures, there might be some fish. So here we go. Let's have a look what it is in here, Finn. If you stand on the shellier parts, they're gonna be a bit more solid. Yeah? Okay. I'm standing on the shelly apart. Be careful though, you don't want to disturb things. Okay, now... Do you want to get your net out? I've got that. Net yeah, I'll get my little net. I'll get my little net as well. So we've got some winkles. Let's put a winkle in there, just to show it off later. Now, Finley. Yeah? When we move rocks, yeah. what do we do? Mm. Once we've moved the rock, what do we do? put them back in place that's right because we want somewhere for these animals to live don't we so that's always one thing to do to bear in mind when you're doing this always replace what you move right so be careful Finn because you don't want to stir it up too much let's have a look under should we have a look under this one be careful all right let's have a look under this one so we can get under here Right, what's under here? Not a lot. Got cockles. There's a cockle. Little cockle. Oh, look what we found on this rock down here. What? Pine. Let's have a look. We have found an anemone. What's an anemone? It's a beadlet anemone. It's an anemone. I can't see it. Yeah. It's stuck to the rock. So what we've got here in front on this side of this rock is a beadlet anemone, most common anemone in the UK. And there it is there and what they do. Oh, here we go. These arms, these I don't know what they're called. Tentacles? Tentacles, maybe Finn, yeah. Receptacles. They're, they're got tiny little hooks, like sticky on them. And uh, they capture prey. They don't do sting a little bit too, but uh, there it is there in the light. Now Finny's out of it. Just under the water there. So it's good to see that these are about, and I can see a baby, baby one. What? What's it attached to? Look. At that, right. We've got a baby, baby beadlet anemone attached to a mussel shell there. So if we put that in our bucket, he should open up. So we can see that in a minute when he opens up. Which is good to see in this water, in this little rocky area, that uh, there's things like this. Right, you walk through, this whole area is just covered in cockle shells. Cockle shells upon cockle shells. There's also a lot of winkles. Winkles everywhere, every rock is covered in winkles. There is a lot of these tiny, tiny fry. Um, these fish fry dotting around everywhere. I'm thinking they are blennies. Um, they're not really shoaling so much. They are individuals. Um, uh, he's found a dead crab. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, that's good. That's a good find. Wait, 
so picked up an interesting rock here um i'll show you what's under it in a minute but what we found i've found a couple of uh shore crabs this one has just peeled he's soft so he's getting his new that's his new shell it's soft it'll harden up in a couple of days which is good i found a tiny little whelk there whelk just down there let me have a look <gasps> you found another one all right let's have a look in a minute and we found some common prawns there look at that common prawns there they are doing their thing but also right, watch out Finn So whilst Finn is chasing crabs, this rock was quite interesting because not only was there a beadlet anemone there, we're gonna go underneath it. Look at there we are. So we got anemone there, there, little one there. We got these periwinkles there. We've got dog whelk eggs all underneath. They are there, all over it. Then what have you got under this rock then, mate? I've got a crab. You found a crab under the rock, yeah? Do you yeah, see, then... be careful then, don't make it too much of a... Got to go and catch him then, where is he? Oh, there's, there's a big one. There's your little one. Go on and put your hand down on the top then. Grab him, he'll be all right. Grab him, go on. Quick. I'm trying to get him. He's still. He's going to run to the next rock. Go on. Got him. Got him. Oh, he's pinching. <laughs> he's pinching. Let's have a look then. What have That's you got? There you got. Put him in my hand then. Oh. You can hold him. You've got a nice little shore crab there. It's I'm going to put him in the bucket. It's nice. Funny colours, isn't it? Go on and mm. put him in the bucket carefully. Well done. Let's see if we can find any other stuff. Again, loads and loads and loads of fish. Tiny little blennies, I think. Tiny blennies everywhere. What have we got in here? There we go, an oyster. A little oyster on the side there. I'm not going to move him. Leave him on there. What's under here? Let's have a look. Oh, little shore crabs. Shore crabs everywhere. Lots more dog. Oh, look at that. There's a big crab. Um, dog whelk eggs. Got a big, bigger. He's not happy. There you go. Very nice, big. Well, for here, beautiful colours. Shore crab. Let him go. He goes. He's not happy. This area is full of life. It really is. I didn't actually expect as much life as I'm finding. There are tons of periwinkles, there's whelks, there's oysters in here. Not big, but small. Then you've got brown shrimp, prawns, shore crabs. They're not big either, but um, it seems to be a, a very interesting nursery area for a lot of um, young crustaceans, um, isopods and things like that, but uh, very interesting. see all the marks where the different shells have moved across the seabed there we are look at them there I all over the place and as you look there's things darting around everywhere
Oh. What? Right. Look at that on there, on the side. Where's the crab? Oh, there's a little crab, another short Forget crab. Him. Yeah, no, leave him. Right, here's something that on the rock there. It's like an isopod, but not. I don't know what they're called. So, anyone that can help me with that, what are these? They're very common. I don't know what they are. I don't know what they're called. They're like a sea, they're like a shell, they're like a woodlouse, but with a snail underneath. If I find it out, I'll put the name at the bottom. But I um, don't know what it is now at the moment. But I will do after this, hopefully. What right, else is there, Finn? What else is there? What else is there? Crabs, crabs, crabs. Where? Everywhere, look, under here. Oh, They're all see. moving around. Oh yeah, I can, oh, can see them. Two right there. Is there two right there? Yeah, right. Oh, what's this? Is this a? All right, you gotta be careful here. We got a jellyfish in front of me here. Where? Right down there. Now I don't know what that is. That jellyfish. We've got a it. crab underneath it. About to get sting. It is a jellyfish, is it? Let's check. It's a jellyfish, not rubbish. It is a jellyfish. Yep. Is it? There we are, dead jellyfish there. Dead one, did yeah. it not sting? No, but more beadlet, beadlet and anemones there on the edge of the rocks. Tiny, tiny, tiny little blenny there. There we go. Oh, there's a big crab running off. Big prawn under here as well. Let me see if I can find him. He went off that way. He's gone. Finn! Is that an anemone? Yeah. It sticks ya. <laughs> it sticks ya. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny, well be careful. Is this fun, mate? Yeah. Is this fun looking for animals? Yeah. That's how he catches his prey. <laughs> Yeah, that's how things stick to him when he eats them. It feels very weird. Oh, there'll be bigger ones. What, do they feel more grabby? A bit more grab? Yeah. One of them's holding a little thing. Where? That? Yeah. So what's happened there? Right. So let's get him back. Why? It's off back. He can go. And let's release him. He can go off and find somewhere new. Now what's happened, oh he's come off now. So, this crab had actually got stuck to the little anemone that was in there. But, um, come off now. We'll let him go, shall we? There they go, look. There they are. Oh, that's the one I, that's the one I found. That's the one you found, is it? This Where's one's it? soft, feel that then. Gently, soft, isn't it? Yeah. That's because he's the, the hard shell has come off. Is that the hard shell? Yeah, so he's got a new hard shell, but this one is growing a new one. Hmm. Who's, uh, where do they shred? Yeah. Where's all the shreds? Well, the shell comes off and you find shells sometimes, but it's a bit late now. Where's it gone in there? Well, it's not. That was, that came off the other day. Look at that one. That one's burying itself. Why? So the, Where's he gone? He's going, he's running. This one's burying himself to hide. Should I bury him a bit more? No, leave him alone. And then we've got a prawn, common prawn. Well, look careful. Can I hold it? Look at that, common prawn. Watch your hand out then. Never holding a prawn. There we go. <laughs> Can Put actually... him in the water. Gently. There you go, he jumped. <laughs> he, jumped. he jumped, there he goes, flicks backwards. Ding, ding. We've got another How one, small one. I know where they're going. Small one, do you want to do that one? Oh, jump back in the bucket. <laughs> he doesn't like the normal water. The first find's there. Hold on. There he comes. Mm. All right, go then put him back gently. Flick him in. There he is, he's yeah. in the water. Here, find his way. And then what we've we got in here, we've got cockle, little whelk. Can I put the cockle in? Wrinkles, periwinkles there. 
we've got a tiny little bee little enemy down there and as you can see we've got loads of little baby um, brown shrimp and there is a couple of tiny little blennies in here as well but they are so microscopic it's hard to find them so let's release these all now make sure we've got everything right watch out Finn Finn was that fun yeah was that good yeah finding little animals in the sea yeah it's amazing isn't it, isn't it what's under a rock yeah it's pretty cool yeah everything lives under there doesn't it yeah the what what was the anemones the anemones they were funny There we go, we just had a little bit of an explore here, just in the rocks. And it's amazing what you can find. And it keeps the kids interested. He's had fun walking around, looking under rocks, seeing what he can find, seeing what's alive, seeing the wacky creatures, and then releasing them. And it's all good. Anyway, till next time, which will be a fishing trip, a nice fishing trip. Tight lines. <laughs>